Welcome to Sailing Perseverance. Meet Captain Gino and his family, Rachel, Aiden, and Eva. Gino has spent the last 30 years in the water as a master scuba dive instructor, teaching diving all over the world. While living in California, we were inspired to buy a boat and split our time living on the land and on the water. Our first year proved to be extremely challenging. We weathered the COVID pandemic, survived a hurricane on the boat, had to repair the damages from the hurricane, and are finally getting ready to sail south to warmer waters. Join us as we explore the world on Sailing Perseverance. Don't forget to like our video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, and become a patron. Our stay in St. Augustine was filled with fun, manatees, and lots of work on the boat. We were amazed at just how many dolphins and manatees found their way back into the marina to visit us. Hi, Mr. Manatee. How are you? Hi. Oh, that's my good boy. Hi. <laughs> you see that? That was so, so cool. cool. Right? He loved yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Look at that right on the end of the boat. Hey, Mr. Manatee. Hi, Mr. Manatee. And there's his, no, that's the missus. Look, oh. there he is. Oh, okay. Hi, Mr. Hi, baby Manatee. girl. Look, she's coming back Wait, for another. I can't tell the difference. The slice. Uh, Hi, baby girl. Looks like she's turning. Yeah, she is. Very big tail she got. Yeah. Tail. Oh. <laughs> she's gonna flip me. I was gonna over. say she's gonna flick her tail at you. <laughs> Aren't they cool? Yeah. That's so awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. He's like, let's go, mom. But yep. now, when you see that nose like that, the way they come up, yeah. What other animal mimics this? Does the same thing? Like a dog or something? How about an alligator? I was gonna say, yeah, it's an alligator. Alligator comes up and breathes like just like same nostrils. Mm -hmm. They're leaving. They came and said hi. That was cool. That was, that was neat. She actually came back from your palace. That was awesome, right? Yeah. Okay. Ready, say one. One, two, three. Go. <laughs> Hold on, girl. <laughs> oh. Don't fall. I can't. <laughs> oh. That looks <laughs> the time spent at the marina was well worth it, with improvements made in almost every area of the boat. Some of the repairs were because of damage from the hurricane, but we also took the time to make several major upgrades to Perseverance. Over here we have the port forward cabin. We didn't do very many updates to this cabin while we were doing our refitting, but we did decide to change out the bedding and give it some more fun pillows.
this is the starboard aft cabin and we had quite a little bit of work to do within our cabin this is known as the captain's quarters and we had quite a bit of work to do here after the hurricane and during our refit over here up at the top on the ceiling that's where we had to cut through and replace one of the stanchions that had gotten pulled out during the hurricane we had to replace this whole back panel because there was water damage behind it. And then we also had to reset the window because again, there was damage from the stanchion and water damage. So this whole side is brand new. Underneath the bed, which you can't see because it's quite a process to tear it open and get to it. But we have a water maker. We put in a water maker, a desalinator. And you can see over here, here are the controls. This baby can make 20 liters of fresh water an hour. And let me tell you, this is one of the best things that we put on the boat. Now we can make our water anywhere. We also put in new solar panels, new batteries, new inverter, new solar panels, and we control them from back here. We literally have not had to run the motors for power since we put those in. We also have a new hot water heater and we have the controls here where we can uh, use the motors to heat up the hot water. Then back over here we have the pirate lights right here and that's our security system. The pirate lights are lights on the back that we can put to be different colors. Uh, we can put them to be different colors when we're out there but we can also set it to be the alarm system so that as you get closer to the boat the lights turn on then a siren starts to sound and then it gets really 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 loud and obvious that uh, someone who's not supposed to be there is trying to get on the boat we also did a couple of updates for comfort you can see we have the brand new white fan it's a wonderful oscillating fan it has a timer, so you can set it to run for two, four, six, or eight hours. And it's, and it's 12 volts, so it's wired just right into the system. And then this, Total Cool, is pretty cool. Uh, it's something where you can put cool water or ice into it. You can see right here, we've got cool water in it right now. You turn it on and it basically acts like an air conditioner. And again, it's 12 volts, so it just runs off for the ship's the boat's normal power system. And when you got ice in there, it'll drop the temperature by at least 10 degrees inside the cabin. Yeah, it's pretty effective when you put ice in it. And then of course, we have our wonderful entertainment system down here. A nice little stand for our iPad connected to the boat speaker. Just as good as any having any TV here on the boat. One other addition that we made to the captain's cabin to make it feel a little bit more like an owner's version is we added this third hatch above the bed. It doesn't normally have this, but we wanted to have a little bit more light, a little bit more ventilation, so we added this third hatch into the cabin. When we were doing our refit and the upgrades, we didn't just stop with the cabins and the sails and the winches and everything there. We also turned our attention to the bathrooms and we installed these Jebsco electric toilets. Let me tell you, they are so much easier to use than the pump version. It's pretty amazing. All you do is you take your foot and you tap on the button once, fills it with water, do your thing, and then tap on the button again. There's actually a little immersorator down there in the bottom, uh, which helps everything flow smoothly. And of course, the wonderful thing is you don't have to pump it out like the old toilets. This is the galley. And as you can see, we've done a couple of upgrades to the galley. Namely, we reupholstered all of the cushions here. So they're definitely uh, a little bit easier to sit on. They'll be easier to clean. They're more comfortable. And it's a nice light fabric that will be able to wash and keep clean more easily than the old, uh, the old leather. Over here in the sink area, we installed 
a fun little water spigot. This gives us additional filtered water. It's easier for Eva to get to and control than the regular, uh, the regular faucet. And we did have to redo all of the plumbing down underneath the sink. So the drain here, the drain in the dish drying area, we had to redo all of those pipes underneath. Let me tell you, it was no easy thing for Gino to get underneath here. We had to redo everything down through here and the pipes down here and down to where it uh, flows out at the bottom of the boat. He had to take this whole shelf out. Everything in here had to come out. So that was quite a job in and of itself. We also replaced the fan up here. Another one of the nice white fans. You see another great shot of our wonderful upholstery. And then you can see over here on our instrument gauges, we have a whole bunch of new things going on here. We got a new radio. We had to connect it to the antenna again. Um, so that's now functioning and working. We also have all three of the panels here or the gauges for the solar panels. We put in so many new solar panels and new lithium batteries so we can see uh, the different solar panels. We can see the ones we have on the wing out uh, above the dinghy and the ones on the roof. And then we have our overall uh, battery gauge. So right now we've had sun all day. We are at 99.4%. We did uh, a little bit of an update to our navigation lights. Uh, you can see here we have a two-way button for our navigation lights. We can turn on green and red up front or white in the back, and that helps us stay more visible. And then right around here in the corner, we have the inverter so that we can have control over how our solar panels, how, uh, where the energy is going. We can have it go completely into the batteries if the batteries are full, we can switch it so that we can use the power directly from the solar panels. Uh, so it gives us a lot of different options um, and a better way to utilize the energy that we're creating from all of our solar panels. Also over here, you'll see on the underside, this is actually the motor for our new electric winch. This was something really important to us to be able to put in an electric winch at the helm. This allows us to basically control everything from the helm. We can put the main sail up and down. Uh, we can use it with the front sail. Uh, it we went from having to have two people, one person cranking up the main sail and one person back at the helm to everything now we can control from the helm. It's really a one person captain boat. Also over here, while we were down in Key Biscayne, you can't see it, but it's right down here behind the cushions, uh, back in a wonderfully inaccessible portion of the boat, we had to replace the wa raw water pump. We replaced it with a five gallon per minute pump and that helps maintain the proper water pressure because five. of course now we have five faucets, including a wonderful hot water shower on the back of the boat. This is the port side back bedroom and really the main thing that we did in here was underneath the bed we put a new updated hot water heater it used to be in the starboard engine which is directly behind this this panel here but we moved it here underneath the bed so that we had more accessibility and we had more space to work around the engine so we put the water heater underneath here we also added another one of the beautiful white fans. And the last thing that we did to this room was we put in 110 and we put a power outlet here. Now, many of you might know Fountain Peugeot is a French brand. And so the boat came with 210 wiring. Uh, so we had already put in 110 wiring on the starboard side of the boat. So now we threw the lines over and we have 110 power on the port side of the boat as well. In addition to all the updates we made to the inside of the boat, we also made quite a few to the outside. Some for comfort, some for safety, and some so that Captain Gina can have an easier time uh, navigating and running the boat uh, single-handedly.
Looking out at the back of the boat, one of the first things that we did was we covered, we recovered all the cushions using a similar gray material to what we now have on the inside. This fabric is waterproof, it is UV resistant, and we put a little bit of an extra layer of cushioning around the cushion, so it's much more comfortable. We also updated the throw pillows that we have around the table. Captain Gino also worked to refinish the tabletop outside here, as well as on the pass-through bar area. So this now has, he redid that, completely refinished it. Above, you can see, we put, we added a light here, right above the table. This gives us some options in terms of being able to light up the entire dining area. Before we just had this one bar light that goes across here that we could make white, blue, or red. But having this light up here at the top makes it a little bit nicer in terms of being outside and eating outside. We decided to update our fishing rods. So we have two trawlers and then two casting rods. Another update that we made for safety's sake was uh, installing a set of pirate lights is what they're called. Now we have two pirate lights. There's one over here on the starboard side and there's one over here on the port side. And what they do, we can control the light that they give off, either the color, so we can illuminate the whole back of the sugar scoops. But this is also an alarm system, so that if someone gets within, say, 20 feet of the boat, or 20 yards of the boat, the, the lights will turn on if we have an alarm. And if they get up onto the back of the boat, an alarm system sounds. Uh, so this is a great safety addition, in addition to being able to light the entire back of the boat with them. We also decided to update the captain's chair. This is much, much, much more comfortable than the, uh, the chair that we had before. And it has the added benefit of being reversible. So you can switch the backrest over and you can look out here on the back of the boat. We also updated the solar panel wing and the solar panels. We have uh, six panels now. We have two back here on the wing and four up on the roof. And with these panels, in addition to the lithium batteries and the inverter, we have not had to start the motors for power once since we've had these installed. Back over here to the captain's chair. You can see it's just a relatively easy <laughs> push back over to switch the backrest. And then we did a couple more updates to the captain's helm. We put in an outlet for an extendable microphone for the radio. This way we can have the radio plugged in here. The handheld uh, receiver works off of the radio on the inside in here, but we're able to hear it and respond out here at the captain's helm without running any additional wires. We also put in uh, a USB charging port here. That way we can have our tablet running with the navigation here, have it be plugged into power, and then never lose our navigation. We also put in an anchor switch here in the back, and this allows Captain Gino to power the anchor from right here at the helm. That way I can stand up at the front, tell him which direction the anchor is coming from, and he's able to control it up here until the boat is free. I then take over the anchor, cleaning it off, stowing it away, you know, clipping in the safety, and he is free to drive the boat. We did a little bit of reconfiguration with some of the, uh, the instrument panel, as you can see. And then the other really awesome things that we put in. Again, this is for safety's sake so that Gino can sail the boat almost single-handedly. This is our new Harkin electric winch. It's right here at the helm so that Captain Gino can be sailing and driving 
and be able to put the main sail up and down all on his own. The other added feature that we put in, we have pedal controls for the winch. So with just a tap of your foot, you can go up and down with the winch to help raise that main sail and again, control everything from the helm here. Another update that we did for safety reasons, we invested in 250 feet of chain and we invested in a brand new anchor. I know it's kind of hard to see from here, but that sucker, oh my goodness. We were out of Kiva Skein for about two weeks and it did not budge once. Uh, even just held through some kind of kind of rough winds, kind of rough seas, and that anchor was amazing. But yeah, we invested in 250 feet of chain. We have it all marked off. And then Gino also did, Captain Gino also did, uh, 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 Captain Gino also did some maintenance onto the windlass to make sure that it is running just right. This definitely falls under the fun category. We replaced the trampoline. We used to have this uh, very net-like trampoline, but we decided to replace it with the mesh. I placed it in myself, and this is a great place now for Eva to be able to jump and play. Next time on Sailing Perseverance, Captain Dan joins us for another voyage, we test out our new scuba gear, and we have a stingray sighting. We would like to give a huge thanks to our patrons Brad B., Patrick C., and William C. If you would like to become a patron, just click the link in the video description, choose your level of support, and fill out the patron form. It only takes a minute, but your time and support will help keep our journey going.